Hello and welcome back to Ask a Foolish Question video. I am Motley Fool editor Sam Robson and with me is resident expert David Crow. Hi David. Hello Sam, AAF2V. That's the one now. Mm -hmm. Right, now we've had a question come in from one of you lovely guys out there and that is, is there anything wrong with the frequent dealing to make profits of volatile stocks? Now David, can you shed any light on this please? Yes I can and there is absolutely nothing wrong with taking advantage of the market's stupidity. But if you're going to do that, you have to make sure that your portfolio, first of all, has a solid base. Mm -hmm. Now, I brought a prop in. Would you like to see it? Please. The last time it was bananas and apples. It was. <laughs> this time it's a bottle of gear. Oh, even better. <laughs> yes. Right. I would like you to try and hold this bottle of beer in right. the palm of one hand only. Right? Okay, then. Yep, I could do that. Right. Now try and hold it in the palm of one hand upside down. Right. Oh. No, not quite happening. No. A little bit more difficult. Yeah. In fact, almost impossible. Almost. So think of your portfolio like you would a bottle of beer. Make sure that it has a solid base, a firm middle, and of course, the top bit, you can do with it whatever you want. So what I think, I, I like to think of a portfolio is income shares at the bottom, mm -hmm. growth shares in the middle, and the speculative shares up at the top. And whatever you do with the speculative shares is fine. But if you Make it top heavy, sure. in other words, too much speculation and not enough income and not enough uh, growth shares in it, then of course you have an unbalanced portfolio. Indeed. But the other thing you have to remember is that you need to know the value of the shares that you're investing in. So take for instance Barclays. Currently I value Barclays at around £3 a share. Mm -hmm. The shares are trading at about £2 a share. So if the shares were to fall significantly below £3 a share, I would say, yes, you know, this rep rep represents a good opportunity to do some speculative buying. And if the shares do go back up to either £2 or £3, then I have two choices. I, I can either sell it to make a profit and bulk up my portfolio, or alternatively, I can just carry on holding those shares for the long term. Sure. But let's give another example here. Diageo. Now, I value Diageo at approximately £14 a share. Currently, they're £17 a share. So, if the shares were to fall from £17 to £15 a share, it's still above what I consider to be the intrinsic value for Diageo. Okay. And nothing would persuade me to go and buy those shares, even though they have fallen from 17 to 15 So, it is vitally important to know the value of the shares that you're investing in. I'll give you another example. Since we've got a gottle of gear here, <laughs> yep. right, let's have a look at SAB Miller, right? Currently, I value SAB at approximately £33 a share. Okay. They're trading at about 28 So they would have to fall significantly before I actually go in and buy those shares. So it is vitally important to know the value of the shares that you're buying, rather than just looking at the chart and say, oh, the shares have fallen in value. That represents a good speculative buy. That's very true. And bear in mind what other things, Sam. Okay. What is the minimum price that any share can fall to? Now, that would be zero. That would be zero. So you could lose everything. So that is why you have to make sure that you have a, a good solid base, a good middle, and do with the top whatever you want. Fantastic. There you go. Your bottle of beer. Brilliant. Well, I'll make sure to hold it up this way rather than that way. And don't shake the beer. Of course not. Well, I hope that's answered your question. And remember that you can always send in your questions uh, to foolishquestions at fool.co.uk. Before you go, Sam, can I have my beer of back, Of course please? you can. Thank you. I may not drink beer, but I do know how to hold my liquor. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much for watching.